This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com forward slash rogue. Use promo code rogue and get 10% off your first purchase. Yeah, you look good. How do we explain to everybody that this is going to sound like we're doing a bunch of kids games, but secretly this is how you become a master communicator? Okay, this is going to sound like we're doing a bunch of kids games, but secretly this is going to help you become a master communicator. Nailed it. This guy good. is good. We're back again with Brian Gavados, master communication specialist, facilitator to the stars. I love Juggler. it all. The yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, that's the way. <laughs> yes. yeah. So your job is to teach people how to effectively communicate, yes. and you got some games for us that anybody can play that sound like their kids' games, but you could do them what at lunch meetings with with oh. anybody. Oh yes, yeah. so we've all been in the dreariest of dreary workplace meetings and, and lunches and stuff where someone says, "Let's go have some fun tonight." With with Charles and Tiffany. Oh my God, we can't have fun with them. They're not. Fun Fun people. You can have fun with them. You can make them fun people with so games. These are secret structures to keep in your back pocket that the moment you smell a, a, a party that's going nowhere. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, that, yes. that almost went really weird. But then <laughs> you could be like, why don't we try this? Yes, exactly. And they're simple, they're easy, and they are actually fun. Like for real fun, no, no irony at all. And they help build the skill of that rapid fire communication without stalling and stumbling, and they help you feel confident in your choice of words. So like improvised explosives, who pooped in the corner, <laughs> Ted. <laughs> Green Goblin impressions. That's a good one. <laughs> Can we please play these dumb games now? <laughs> the first one is called Six Categories. Okay. This just makes you go outside of yourself. This just forces you. I love games that force you to think Astral creatively. Astral projection. Yes. Right on. Yes. What am I doing? The, the chakras. <laughs> yeah. Brian, why don't you give me six cars that have never existed. And we're gonna add some tension to it, so come on. Okay. Oh, remember the turtle? One. Uh, there was uh, the, the sassy uh, uh, Venezuelan. Two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> there was the matador. Three. Three. There was the original god. <laughs> original <laughs> god. <laughs> Or, that would be an amazing car. Coming to you from Chevy, the original God. <laughs> there, were, there, there was the- God part two was a cool car, but original God. <laughs> there was the, the robotic apocalypse. Oh, and, five. And there was the sadness. Six. The sadness. <laughs> the sadness. That, is, that is harder than you would expect. It is. You, you get your first three out there, you're like, I'm good at this. My brain runneth empty. I'm gonna say God. Oh man, the, but the sassy Venezuelan was Recalled, by the way. Oh, it was only a prototype. You play to what you know. Play to what you know. So, where does that come from? I I couldn't tell you for the life no. of me where those came from. But I tell you, when you play these games a lot, you your conversations just become a little bit more interesting all the time. Yeah. Because you're able to throw in those kind of those, those frosting on the cake elements that seem to come from nowhere, but your brain is just starting to wire itself to be creative and improvisational. I know that one of the core tenets of comedy is the callback, but you need something to call back to. That's See? just what a changeling would say. <laughs> Shut up, cyborg. <laughs> I'm a modern cyborg. <laughs> callbacks, callbacks. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> no, this helps you get to those, generate those amongst coworkers, amongst family members at the dinner table that you can be calling back to later on. They help build that, tighten that community. Okay, what's another game? Last five. This is so easy, and this is so much about proper communication. Let's just have a conversation about any topic. Let's pick a topic uh, from the crew. What's something you find in the kitchen? I heard dentist. Cheese. Che <laughs> cheese. Cheese. All right. Cheese. So you guys have a conversation about cheese real quick, just back and forth normal. But before you answer, everything you must say has to start with the last five words the other one ended with. Okay. My favorite cheese are those super sharp, bitter bastards. So about the last five words or so. Those super sharp, bitter bastards are the most delicious thing that you can find, but sometimes they smell like feet. <clears throat> uh, I wonder if sometimes anybody they, has- Sometimes they- Oh, sorry. They, sometimes they smell like feet, which makes me wonder if anybody has accidentally nibbled on toes thinking they were cheese. <laughs> People nibbling on toes. People nibbling on toes and thinking their yes. cheese is a common problem <laughs> so, among the cannibals. Okay, so, okay, 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 
Okay, Joe. Please, sorry. <laughs> but did you see where that was going? And how that was building in a way that it's otherwise it dark would not it's have going. gone. Yes. Well, it's almost as though deep in us, at some kind of subconscious level, is a bunch of wacky stuff bubbling all around. Yes. And by giving your conscious mind the restrictive job of focusing on this one you task, have to. you have to say something, and that bubbles up from a different part of your brain. And it feels weird to have someone s confirm what you just said. It feels really strange to hear someone say, repeat the last thing. You confirmed that you heard me. Yeah, That's yeah. the game forces you to confirm that we hear each other, and I'm building on top yeah, of it. Yeah, it makes sure that you are actually listening it to really what does. the other person is it saying. It really does. Rather than just waiting for your turn to speak. So if you have coworkers or children that struggle with not listening, I swear to you, this works. And it's oh, yeah, well, that's great yes. because because it's objective. Like, well, yes. you, you, you failed on your turn. You didn't say the thing yes. that I just said. Yeah, which happened. I said, oh, remember, he said this. That's right, and that's you, right. And you and changed what you are going to say. It was yeah. awesome. All right, what else? Okay, next we have three-line characters. So this is, okay, give me an adjective. Morose. Give me a noun. Pineapple. Okay, so <laughs> just give me three things a morose pineapple might say. <laughs> I wish SpongeBob didn't live in me. <laughs> one. <laughs> I don't know, that's basically one and done. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's it. And I say three, because that's what we practice on stage with performers. But honestly, one is enough when you have, when you have when a you workplace people, and they don't want, you don't want to make them uncomfortable. If you can just get one like that, that's so funny. This that's is awesome. great, this is great. All right, what's another? A joke telling game. Groaners bond people together. The most bonding comedic element are the popsicle jokes, because we can all hate them together. When someone says, I have this great joke, you're worried, what if I don't get it? What if it, or what if I hate it? Do I have to laugh? But if we know it sucks, we can all hate it together. This is a joke telling game. Oh, it's all about groaners. Like watching an episode of The Modern Rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You know what uh, Mario's overalls are made of? There it is. No, what are they made of? Denim, denim, denim. No, 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 no. Also recycled, not as good. A, a mushroom walks into a bar and the bartender says, Actually, we don't serve your kind here. And he says, hey, come on, I'm a fun guy. That's ex First of all, that's exactly the joke telling right. game I was going to go. A neutron walks into a bar, orders a beer, drinks the beer, bartender says, for you, no charge. Ah, uh, <laughs> nerd. So you guys have played this game. <laughs> we, we've lived it. <laughs> so it, 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 you're doing it perfectly. It's called 185. 185. Blanks walk into a bar, the bartender says, we don't serve blanks here, and the blanks say. Well, why did you make it racist, Brian? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> that took a hard <laughs> left turn. I'm, so, I'm sorry to any blankish people watching, I didn't mean to offend the blank community. <laughs> well, well, and that structure is so familiar that all you need to do is uh, a, a thing that something is, the structure of walking into a bar, a thing they say yep, that somehow refers to their, yes. uh, the original yes. thing. So again, uh, an, an item from the kitchen, again, from the crew, please. Any item from the kitchen. A knife. A knife. Uh, 185 knives walk into the bar. Uh, bartender begins to... No, I got nothing. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Well, what do you, what the, do, you do when you so, fail? So the structure, that's fine. You applaud, you applaud failure, because that's the only way this, this works, is by people feeling comfortable failing. 185 knives walk into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve knives here. And the knives say, ah, fork you. Okay. okay so whatever. They're supposed to be groaners. So yeah. Oh, okay. Next up is, you know, the, G, the general manager's going to say one, or the kid's going to say one. We all are comfortable making them groaners as long as you know the structure. What's interesting is in a group setting, as people are either winning yes. or failing, it's everybody the, the is result. in their own head thinking <laughs> yes. like, oh, I've got to come yes. up. And so- And that will start happening like popcorn. People will say, I got one for knives. I got one for knives. They want to, they want to shine. And you're invested in what people say, yes. whether they lose or win. Yes, there's no losing and winning about it. It's perfect, it's all- 185 knives walk into a bar. Oh, wow. The bartender okay. says, well, hello to ye old Renaissance Fest I see you all. Oh no, get out! Wait, what? What's wrong? Say the knives. And he says, I thought you were knaves. No, no. That's exactly that's what's oh. fine. We can put, put that, I, think, I, think, I landed it. That one plays better at the Austin Historical <laughs> Weapons Guild. <laughs> how about a simple, 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 simple one, okay? D dinner table, doesn't matter how old your kids are, alphabet, okay? Let's just say the topic is woodworking. And all we need to do is each continue telling sentences one letter of the alphabet at a time. Okay. So, so let's start, we'll start with D, okay? Darn it, uh, I, I broke the shed again. E. Except I discovered that there were a bunch of dead bodies in there. Naturally. <laughs> F. 
freaking smelly bunch they were. <laughs> goo goo gaga. <laughs> How in the hell do you get that many corpses in that small of a square footage? I handled this once. Let me make a call. I know a guy. Joke's on you. I already did. Oh, oh killing's my business. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, yeah. Before we admit to something, we don't yeah, want that's to. Right. <laughs> Suddenly we're at the police station. Police are playing. Yes. They're yes. like, then I administered brutality. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're just L is the next one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Stick with the rules. This is easy. It's just the alphabet game around any kind of party table, any dinner table, it works. And I guess uh, it always ends with zebras, am I yeah. right? <laughs> well, yeah, or you can start at M and then go all the way back around to M, something like that, yeah. Do we have any more? Okay, I have one more. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult to achieve in this space, but I know you're nothing if not adventurous. Mm. It's called Hotspot. This one will make people a little bit more uncomfortable because it involves singing. <laughs> you start singing anything you like, yep. anything. I don't care if it's the ABCs or Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. The moment we are triggered by a word in that song or a theme or a melody, we rescue him from that hot spot. He's in the hot spot right now singing a song and we rescue him by we start singing. It's, ba it's really team building, because we well, need to rescue you before so you run I, out. It's a song that exists? Yes, do a I have real to song. Do I make up the words for it? Yeah, I know, you can sing a real song. What your favorite song? All right. <clears throat> You're wondering who I am. <laughs> secret, secret, I've got a secret. Machine or mannequin. Machine, secret, mannequin. secret, I've got a secret. With parts made in Japan. Secret, secret, I've got a secret. <laughs> I am the modern man. Dun, dun. Now's a good time for someone to save me. See, I've got a secret. Exactly what you should be doing. I've been hiding under hiding. my skin. Skin, skin, hiding, skin. Machines. My heart is human. Japan, even. Japan. My blood is boiling. My brain, IBM. Oh, if See. I only had a brain, oh, I could tell you why. The ocean's near the shore. I could think of things I never thunk before. And then I'd sit and think some more. My head. Think. Think about what you tried to do to me. <laughs> you better save, save me really fast. Cause you see, I don't really know the words to this Aretha Franklin song. But I watched the Blues Brothers once a long time ago. I'm terrible at this. <laughs> <laughs> That, we save that one for the end. That's the that's the end of the party for the people who are really sticking it out and can play hot spot. Can I? You're great at that. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm sweating. Now. I know how nervous are you? Like, because oh, like, you're watching the matrix of opportunities float by as he says words, and there's like, I want to. No, yeah, that's yeah, gone. Yeah. No, no, that's gone. Yeah. No. But and I've I, heard I will songs say, before. It's very hard with just three people. When you have eight people in a circle, oh, it's, it's, more people are more thinking. People are they thinking, make more and connections. And it just happens, yeah. Also, booze. Can I give you a gift that I discovered? And I didn't mean for this to be part of this episode, say no, say but no. it is so good. I, I just want to share it with the world. Yes. There is a website called talktotransformer.com. You showed me this. Yes. And what was my reaction? I think I nearly fainted. Well, I, I think you were upset because you realized that improv actors can be replaced by robots. Instantly and better. So it, it's a neural net AI and you feed it pretty much anything and it just keeps on going. It just tries to figure out the rest. Take some hard left turns, but here's the thing. Last week I figured out that if you put in the beginning of a song, it just fills up these insane other lyrics. It's like, I haven't laughed this hard since Mad Libs when I was in second grade. I put it out on Twitter. People started sending me some of their favorites. I need you to sing this song. Little ditty about Jack and Diane. Two American kids growing up in the heartland. Jack gonna be a football star. Diane debutante in the backseat of Jackie's car. Diane want to kiss the kid. Jack stops her. Hey, Diane warns, it's not right for me. Then Jackie says, sorry, do you know? Diane drops down. Come on, Jenny. I can introduce you to the ever-friendly Diane and her Romeo. Ever you fall in love. Some kissing. Diane getting her twine. That's why there's so much sex in there. Ah, uh, much better. Smiley face. And that's my young love scenes in French. Oh yeah! Life goes on. I don't know how Australia's national anthem goes, but somebody put the first four lines of Australia's yes. national anthem. This is how we round it out. All of us have to sing what we think the national anthem is. Uh -huh. The first four lines are real. Everything else is computer generated, but it's important. I want you to imagine this before a soccer game. Yeah. Ten thousand Australians all gathered together to sing. <clears throat> oh, apologies in advance. Australians all let us rejoice, for we are young and free. With golden 
soil and wealth for toil, our home is girt by sea. We will die today, but our fighting hearts will die. The sky is now red, the fires in the skies burn hot. We dream of valor, we dream of war, we dream of killing the enemy. We dream of defeating the gods, destroying the Antichrist. We plan to die on the field, we plan to die on the battlefield. In the empire of light, in our own way we rise. Lead us in your battles, our world is yours to control. Now the universe has come to rest, the vortex has thundered down. The heroes have won, now we pray. I'm moving to Australia because that is badass. Oh my god, these have been fantastic. <laughs> Brian, Jeez. where can people learn more about all of your stuff? Uh, to, uh, methodologycoaching.com or follow me on Twitter at Brian Gavadas. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there we go. Boom. Boom, uh, boom, boom. boom. Metal. Metal. All right. Hey, Jason, you know what a whole bunch of people are doing right now? Sitting at home? Yes, but... Watching Modern Rogue? Yeah, well, yes, and a few of these people are finally making their dreams come true. They suddenly have a little bit of free time. They have a message that they want to give the world, and what they lack is the ability to know how to do the HTML, all the fancy web stuff. What they need is a service that'll let them share their message to the world with a beautiful, award-winning design, scalable infrastructure, and the ability for anybody to get the word out and look awesome doing it. Name Name one service that can do that. Jimmy Nunchuck's online Nunchuck Distributors, the greatest wholesale Nunchuck distributor in the Western Hemisphere. <laughs> I am absolutely certain that it is all of those things. I noticed that you didn't mention its ability to create beautiful, award-winning, designed websites that can reach the entire world. Okay, uh, we don't quite have that ability yet. Yes, this is my little side gig. But we're getting there. Maybe we should probably use Squarespace. Jason, tell the truth. All of this is secretly a reskinning of the service from Squarespace. You went to squarespace.com slash rogue. You signed up for a free trial. You used promo code rogue at checkout to get 10% off your first order. And now you're just reselling it under this weird nunchuck thing. Everybody needs some nunchucks in states where it's legal. Hey, I got this. If you want beautiful websites without the nunchucks, head on over to squarespace.com slash rogue. Sign up for a free trial. Use promo code rogue at checkout. Get 10% off. Keep us in business. And buy some nunchucks. Get them in a, a bundle. We got buy six, get one free right now. You pick the colors. Except for blue. We're out of blue. Go to Australia. We die today. <laughs> and defeat the gods. Oh and the Antichrist. In the field and the battlefield. <laughs> Man, it's like the other team just leaves. Too much. Too much. I think they meant it. We don't want to mess with the Australians. Oh. Wow.